Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. Um, in the series of our infamous mud tests, we have been provided a Tavor X95. This is the uh, improved version of the Tavor with a replaced or changed mag release. Otherwise, the Tavor bullpup that you either love or hate, or somewhere in between. Um, it is a brand new gun that was provided to us by one of our two-gun action match challenge shooters. And he said, I want you to mud test this, test this. And I said, okay. So here we are with it. We've had a lot of requests to do this as well. So, ah, oh, there's sights. I'm going to load, I'm going to fire some rounds. Without the mud, make sure the gun works. All right, no problemo. Now I'm gonna put the sights down because there's no reason to have them up when we do this. And we're gonna do our patented goo mud test on this. So we'll start with the left side of the receiver. Well, that's pretty much all of it. There's really nothing underneath to worry about, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go right here. You have those that the two slots right above the trigger. I want to bring that out. Okay, I'll do that as well. So we have a slot here, which is worrisome, and we have this area here. So we'll go ahead and dump on here. Ejection port's pretty sealed up. I don't think that's an issue. And just so we don't have to be hearing about that, we'll do the same thing. Okay, underside as well. Because a bullpup is a little bit different geometry than a traditional rifle. So I'm gonna clear some of the mud out of the way of the trigger pack here so I can actually get to the trigger. Bring the gun up. Wow. All right, find the safety. And here we go. You've got a case sticking out of the ejection port. One round. Hold on, let me get a... So yeah, failure to fully eject on the very first round. Oh, it's a double feed. You're probably gonna wanna drop the mag to... Yep, hold on. Got it, pull it out. I'll get it. Yeah, I can't get it out. Ugh. All right. Bolts hold open. Got it. Wow, like 12 rounds fell out of that thing. All right. Yep. Cle clean mag. That's good. Put it back in. Do the cool Israeli thing. Chunk. All right. One round. Can't tell exactly what's happening. All right, so I'm gonna run the action. Oh, I can't. Oh, all right, I'm gonna put the safety on. If I can, I can. I'm gonna hit this. I might wanna pull the mag first. I, I can't, I don't think I can get it out. I cannot get it out. <laughs> okay. A round is ejected. A live round. We are not in battery. <sighs> God. All right. I can't. All right, I'm going to hold the bolt open. Bolt is held open. Can't tell what's going on. Let me take the mag out. Can't get the mag out. Man, this thing's a mess. There it goes. This release, all right, what's interesting, the mag release on the right side's not functioning anymore. The mag release on the left side is. Hmm. All right, so clean mag. You wanna try cycling it a couple times without the mag? Yeah. That seems to be okay. It does. Looks okay. All right, well, we seem to be working again, but I don't know what occurred that caused that to happen. Do we continue firing? Do we put more mud on it? I guess we'll give it another douse and see what happens. Okay. I'm not sure what else to try, so let's do that. How many rounds are still in it? I fired 10, dumped out a couple. Let's look. There were 30 in there to begin with. Oh, this right side mag release, no go. Still, yeah. Nope. 
This one works. That's an interesting failure. Yeah. Mag is clean. Yeah, we got enough. Okay. All right, here we go. There's that. I'm just gonna do the sides this time. There's still a bunch in the trigger group. I think there's enough in there that if you poured more on, it wouldn't actually do anything different. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, you got a uh, failure to eject again. We were using brass case, we're now down. Yeah, that's still brass, still it, just, brass. it just looks horrible. All right, so I'm gonna open the bolt. There we go, it fell out. Uh, I can't open the bolt. Pull the mag with the mag release that works. And I'm gonna put it on safe. I'm gonna mortar it. I'm gonna lock the bolt open. Clean some of that out of there. Yeah, you can oh. see that it's gotten in there. That doesn't look good. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Ah, it went in. And we locked open. All right. So, uh, wow, I'm not sure this is a very strange result. The, um, the fact that we failed with only one round fired initially is very concerning. The fact times, in fact. Uh, a couple times we failed on the first round. The fact that the mag release on the right side is completely gone kaput, but the left side works, that's also strange. Um, but the odd part is that once we pull the magazine out, once you could get it out, and once we could mortar the bolt open and then cycle it a couple times, it started working again. So I really don't know how to rank this in the rankings. Um, I'm inclined to call it quite a failure, to be honest with you. If you fail on the first round and you have to figure out which mag release will actually dump the mag and then have to mortar it open and then pull the mag, lock the bolt hold open, cycle the gun, put the magazine back in, run it, fire around, fail, and repeat that process until it starts working again, that's not the end of the world. We've seen guns that did worse, like the VZ-58, but this was certainly not good. Um, you guys can draw your own conclusions. I'm honestly surprised. I thought this gun, even though this opening was here, I actually thought it was going to do pretty well. In fact, when I was talking to Ian, I'm like, this is pretty sealed. I think we're going to be okay. I'm not sure where the goo got into the action of the Tavor to cause it to do the weird stuff that it did, but it did not handle our in-range mud test all that well. So, borrowed gun, I'm not going to throw it on the ground. But what I want to do is thank you for watching another episode of InRange TV. If you like this kind of content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It's what allows us to buy the ammunition that we waste in the mud to do this, to find out what happens with a gun when we put it in mud. If you can't support us on Patreon, totally understand. Please just subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Full30, as well as Facebook. And most importantly, share the videos you like with your friends. Thanks for watching.